trials, gentlemen. Yes. And yes. ladies. Trials. And ladies. Yes. Yeah. Trials. Every day. Trials is for everybody. Trials. Trials. Every trials. Day. Trials. Every trials. Day. Trials. 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 You want justice. No yeah. justice, no peace, no trials, no sleeps. Motor cycle? cycles. No Motor sleep bikes. Till, dirt bikes. No sleep till trials fusion. Yep. Trial, what is, trials fusion. Brad, what is a trials fusion? Trials fusion is the new trials game. You went out into the world went, and saw this. I went and played it yesterday. And then brought back these gameplay clips. Got these hot clips. I brought a clip. I brought six clips. All and right. Like two dozen screenshots. I hope you planted some clips since you took some of these clips. Yep. Yep. Sustainable clip those, farming. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Those Ubisoft PCs. Take a clip, leave a clip. Yeah. Those Ubisoft PCs are infested now. Gross. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I wasn't super sure I was ready for another Trials game. Like, I love Trials, but Trials Evolution, like, fittingly, was kind of... seemed like it was sort of as far as they could take that concept. Mm -hmm. you know? Like, that felt like the perfect Trials game. I was like, all right, you guys have nailed it. That's, that's good. Good enough. But they went and added some stuff that actually have kind of brought me back in. So. What have they added? Why don't we take a look at this? And I will tell you about my, the, the three pillars of my Trials Fusion oh, preview experience. Okay. Hold on, let me get my PowerPoint out. <laughs> um, first of all, like they had it on PC and it was running full on 1080, 60. Uh -huh. Like that PC port of Trials Evolution was kind of bunk, from my understanding. Uh, it was just it, it was not as optimized as it could have been. Yeah. Like you know, I have a relatively overpowered machine, and right. you know, I could run it just fine. Yeah. But yeah, it was for for what they're showing on screen. Right. It's not necessarily the most optimized. Thing. Hey, Brad, yeah, let me but, interrupt you and say this is not you playing. No, no, this is Ubisoft pro provided B-roll. Okay. They got that B-roll. They had it, okay. and they gave it to me. So what's the first pillar? Um, so it's just, you know, it looks pillar? and runs a lot better, you know? Like, they didn't, they seemed to be running it on pretty average PCs there, and it was totally fine. Huh. Played played well, looks really nice. Uh, you can't see it here, but a lot of this game looks like Tron. Like say that tree trunk looks real Tron-like. Like a lot, well, a lot I like of their is, font treatment. I like the, their UI stuff. Yeah, yeah, so I got some shots of the UI and the way the, the courses and the career stuff's all put together. It's really slick now. It's probably the best organized that stuff's ever been. Um, but yeah, a lot of the tracks just... What? All right, good, it still does that. Oh yeah, totally. Also, there's a... There's oh, there are ATVs? ATV. There's just one ATV, okay. as far as I can there's tell. There's ATV. I don't think it... I mean, and I played it. I played it, and it pretty much plays like a bike. Well, yeah. Like, it feels like a heavy bike, you know, but there's no, there's no aspect of balance in this game, so it's not like four wheels are gonna make you sturdier than right. two or anything. Man, they really should've um, shot this from the other side with the sun. Uh, yeah. Around. So funny you should mention that. Uh, reverse mode. There is kind of a way to reverse the track, uh, but I'll get to that later. Um, You're getting ahead of him. I'm sorry. Yeah, are, you man. Still, are, you, are you on the second pillar? I've got no. We're about to move to the second pillar. Okay. Like, don't get off script. Ooh. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> the t teleprompter is uh, just holding right here. But you know, yeah, it, it looks really nice and it plays just like it oughta. <laughs> um, There's your second pillar. So here's the new thing. Here's Whoa. the biggest new thing: tricks. Yeah. They have added a trick system. They showed, when they announced this back at E3, they right. showed uh, some of this stuff. Yeah. I, I like the look of the environment here. Like, it's yeah. real crisp. So this is this is sort of getting closer to that real future-y looking stuff I was talking about. Like, there's a lot of, like, just kind of futuristic facilities, real clean looking environments with a lot of neon lights all over the place. Yeah. And a couple of uh, a couple of the courses I played oh, looked, perfect landing bonus. looked like they were straight out of Tron. Do you uh, know if... Uh, Doing the tricks is it still physics based when you land, or yeah, if you're so, doing so, a trick, so, we so just yeah. Play. Let me let me back this up and go through this again. Oops. Um, so the way they described it to me uh, is that all the trick animations are totally physics based. There is no canned animation for the tricks happening. Okay. Uh, and the way it plays, it's a little hard to get your mind around until you do it. But basically, so you're using the right stick when you're in midair to kind of swing your legs off the bike. And you can kind of think of it as the direction you're pushing the, the right stick is sort of where the ends of your feet, like your feet, the end, end, ends of your legs are going to point, if that makes sense. Okay, so so, so, so you're kind like of your left swinging. stick is still rotating the bike yeah, and yeah, moving you're the still bike leaning, and stuff, leaning but the right the stick. stick is kind of a trick stick. Yeah, but, but again, it's not like, you know, you just press up and it does this canned trick. It's like it actually swings your legs around in the direction. So, so you can, like, get into these weird situations. There's some more, some more of it right here cool. where you're kind of... You're sweeping the stick around in an arc. You're not Got necessarily it. pointing it in, in set directions. Yeah. It's like I said. It's kind of hard to. Oh, son. It's kind of hard to describe until you get your hands. And on then it. are modifiers for like doing one-handed. Not that like I saw. Letting go with a hand no. or something like that. Like or, I said, okay. it's all it's all just based on the physics of swinging your legs oh. off the bike. So if a hand comes off, a hand uh, comes off. Because I've definitely seen them do one-handed. Huh. 
Yeah, I'm not. I didn't there. Yeah, yeah, see. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't get a ton of info on that. There, that may be in there, but they didn't talk about. Oh, he's let go right there. Um, so, so my big question is, if you, there you go. Can you land? Nothings. Can you land the bike while still doing a trick? Uh, no, as far as I can. Ooh. As far as I can tell, uh, you have that's to, you a have, crash. That's a crash. As far as I can tell, you have to be out of the. There's no tricks in here. You have to be out of the trick. Okay. To, to land. successfully land. To land successfully, yeah. I kind of want to land just you know with two hands. Yeah. And figure it out later. Uh, uh, it's it's hard to describe, but the point I was trying to make about swinging the legs around is that like if you wanted to do the thing where you're kind of like flipping over the handlebars, you can't just push forward on the stick because that will get your legs hung on the handlebars. You actually have to sweep it backwards and then over the handlebars okay. in kind of an arc to make your legs kind of swing yeah, around. Yeah. It's a, it's a weird system, but. They've makes, got a, it makes sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah. once you get your hands on it, it, it becomes pretty intuitive. They've got a pretty cool training mode where you're basically in a wind tunnel. You're like on the bike, oh, kind of so suspended like, in midair yeah. constantly. So and there's a little monitor in the background like showing you the names of the tricks you're pulling off in that mode. So, are, so uh, are they two This is still modes? Red Links, right? This is yeah, still... yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah, Ubisoft bought them. And, right. and, and it's, in fact, it was the, the same guy at the press event that I talked to for Evolution like two years ago. Okay. Is, uh, it, a, is it a completely different mode from the actual checkpoint trial mode? No, so... I'm glad you asked, Vinny. Here's uh, this is kind of the career interface. Uh, these tracks that are marked FMX are the ones where the, the tricks matter. Uh, you can do tricks on every track, but like the trials tracks are, are classic tracks. Like okay. they don't score the, uh, your tricks. They don't keep track of them or tally them or anything. Uh, but the FMX ones are the ones where you'll have a point, it's like a high think, score. I don't think they're even timed, if I remember. Mm. I think it's all about. Oh, just trick score. Yeah, and yeah. I don't think faults even matter on the FMX ones. Uh, it's uh, weird. It's all about racking up, and there's a combo multiplier for score, uh, for doing tricks and stuff like well, that. But wrecking busts your combo multiplier. It might, yeah, so. yeah. I, I didn't, I didn't get that deep into it, but that's probably the case. Um, the new environments <coughs> look pretty cool. What's that? I like these new environments. Yeah. Do you have any footage of the Tron stuff, or is it? Uh, I think this and the other stuff you've seen is as futuristic as it gets. I've got some okay. screenshots. Are you a cyborg they, man? I don't know. Those kind of do look like robot legs to me, but that might just be a, an outfit. Uh, you're still earning money. You're still buying cosmetic unlocks and okay. stuff like that. Yeah. Um, it seemed like a comparable number of bikes to unlock. As, Did as it have the, like uh, some dumb freestyle rap thing at the intro? Uh, not that I remember. Right. No. It's all very like sleek and future feeling. But it's not out. You maybe you know it's, it's still have time to yeah. wrap uh, it up with this stuff. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Still like still tons of dumb wipeouts <laughs> yeah. at the end of all these things. Yeah, uh, that's ah, multiplayer. Still got the multiplayer. That, and we you did, track editor stuff? Yes. Okay. Uh, no, no footage of it, but the, the track editor is, is totally there. Um, yeah, multiplayer is pretty fun. A lot of the custom stuff in the tracks that I'll get to in a minute, he, they said... They Dude's said, leg, is he, he's always oh, on a bike. Okay, he's on like a bicycle back there. Oh, he's pedaling? Yeah. Oh, look at that future car. That's a cool looking car. There's some Tron shit. Well, okay, well... Uh, def Okay. okay, let's read. Let's define what you mean by Tron shit. Do you like mean like rights? cyberspace, futury, crazy? Like or there, there like... was one track that looked like it did not take place in a real place. Okay, got it. Uh, but even even the stuff where it's like, oh, I'm in some kind of laboratory, still has like a ton of neon lights and yeah. Because this looks more like you're just biking through the yeah, Citadel. No, no, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's not like all future just city that. looking stuff. Okay, uh, we can let's see. Step through some of these screenshots and see. It's it's yeah. Here's the editor stuff. Okay. Um, Uber ramp. I don't, I don't think they, I think it's mostly shots from like the clips that you already saw. Yeah. Uh, you know, even maps like this have got like weird drone shit and stuff flying around, but they're... How to play? It, it plays totally fine. Like, feels great, you know. Feels exactly like Trials, like the yeah. the leaning and acceleration, all that stuff haven't changed at all. Uh, and the trick stuff is, is pretty pretty cool once you get into it. So there's there's one other thing, the third pillar <gasps> uh, oh, man. is not represented at all in these screenshots and footage, unfortunately. Ghost pillar. Uh, yep, hidden secret pillar. Uh, so that's kind of what it is. It's actually secrets. Um, so they had collectibles in, in the last game. They had the squirrels you could find. I don't oh, know right. if you guys knew about that stuff. I finished the entire game without finding a single squirrel because yeah. they're super hidden. Right. It's like, it's weird shit. Like, you got to bail off the bike at the right time and, like, get your rider outside of the map. You know? Oh, wow. Yeah. Like, make him land in a place that looks like you shouldn't even be able to access, and then you'll get the squirrel. Uh, so they've amped that stuff up a whole lot. Um, I don't think they show it on any of these menus, but... Like, if you get track details, basically, before you go in, uh, every track has three uh, kind of bonus objectives now. Uh -huh. uh, usually one of them, from what I can tell, is always, like, like get through the whole track without letting off the accelerator, or, you know, get through it without leaning, oh, or right. do ten backflips. They did some of that yeah. stuff. So they've, they've yeah. increased that stuff, but the, the bigger thing is that uh, each, uh, 
to start this footage over. Each, uh, each track has at least one like totally unique objective that's tied into the design of the track. Okay. So like one of the future facility tracks I was in, the objective was like, like find the entrance to the hidden base and run that course. Oh wow. So there's like a whole separate hidden path through that level. Oh wow. Um, there's a number of them that had uh, had an objective that was access the gyroscope and then do blank, and it was like some weird mode. And the gyroscope is always right at the beginning of the track, and you go backwards to hit it. Oh. Uh, and one of them, the one I did, was like access the gyroscope and then play play through the the uh, course in I think they called it rider mode, which was a third person camera, like Wait. camera position right behind the bike. Oh, uh, like a so it was super crazy because yeah. like, you can't really tell how you're leaning in that mode. Right. Uh, so that was really weird. There was another one with a gyroscope that reversed the track and also made it at night. Uh, and moved the camera to the other side, so you were going right to left, huh. which was also pretty disorienting. Yeah. Uh, but there's a ton of hidden stuff. Like a lot of them, a lot of the, those objectives have to do with things that are hidden in the track that you need to either like destroy or find an entrance to or whatever. Yeah. So seems like there's a ton of extra stuff to go back and, and play the tracks again to find. That's cool. Uh, in that sense. What was the, in that last clip, what, who was the lady talking to you in your ear? Uh, what was this one? No, the, this one. Not this one? This one, yeah. It's like, this one. There is a robot lady. What did she say? I think her name's Cindy. She, oh, really? Yeah. She's your tutorial bot. Oh, oh, maybe that's what it was. Okay. I didn't hear what she said here, but... Uh, it was a little earlier on, I think. Yeah, I mean, she's basically just kind of stepping you through stuff constantly. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, if you roll the clip back, it was more at the beginning of this, but... Oh, okay. Uh, but, you know, yeah, it's, it's still trials, but the trick stuff and all those extra objectives and, like, weird stuff to find on the maps makes it feel like they've, you know, they've made some meaningful additions to it. Did it feel like it, <clears throat> that the stuff that they've added is, like, accessibility-minded? Because, like, trials... It seems like Trials is like playable by everybody up to a certain point, and right. then it's like, all right, go home if you don't want to get good at this, because you know it, it's going to get very serious about Ben Quell is going to smoke your ass. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Uh, uh, you're talking about like the trick stuff. I, I mean, the, just kind of overall, objective. like the the trick stuff, the, the objectives. The objectives. It's, like, do they seem like they were, you know, completable by mortals, or is it kind of like these are for Trials experts only? It's, it's hard to say because they started us with a. Uh, <clears throat> a new save, so I only saw the first like, okay. couple tiers of the career stuff. Yeah, like the trick stuff was totally approachable once you got your head around it. Yeah, um, you know I could see some of the later tracks having like insane score requirements to pass right. and stuff like that. Uh, so that stuff might get crazy, but I, I imagine the crazy difficulty is still reserved for like the classic trials, like balancing act. Yeah, it looks uh, like here this is probably FMX because it's scoring you. It looks yeah, like yeah, you have yeah, a, a, a timer ticking down. Yeah, this is definitely. Uh, that's weird, yeah. I noticed that when I was playing yesterday, because when you go into the first FMX track, they straight up say, there's no time limit, go nuts. Even though there is that, so I don't know what the deal is with that. So uh, did they say with this trick uh, system, and you were saying it's kind of freeform with the right analog sticks, but there are obviously tricks. Yeah, like yeah, like once you, hell. once you perform the right motion, you'll get the scored na is, named tricks. But is it like an actual... Like you doing like a dragon punch to, to do uh, something? You end up doing it that way, but it's because of like a, like I said, you have to kind of swing your feet in the right direction, not not arbitrarily like, hey, the dead coffin is oh right, is, like forward, back, forward, forward, back, up, down, whatever. You know, yeah. just, it's, okay. uh, <clears throat> it's a lot more physics based than that. You know, it's kind cool. of keeping in the spirit of the way trials plays and how it's all kind of physics based. Can you let go of the bike? Uh, yeah, you can bail out, you know, like they had before. You hit Y to bail out, and you oh, have to right. use that to find some of those tricks. Like, can you or, grab or some of those secrets. Can Sorry. you grab the bike again? I don't huh? think so. You Maybe not after you hit the bail button, but I mean, definitely you see him let it go. Yeah, I, there. I can't tell yeah. if he's like, like letting go. Or if it's like a, a transition. It's, it's yeah. a transition from like, like a grabbing yeah. the back of the bike thing. So, yeah. like, I don't know if it's like a control thing or what, but there has to be some sort of like get your other hands way. On the saddle or the seat. I think about it like a. It was a, the trick system that Dave Mira eventually had was was kind of focused on modifiers, and it was like these are how to do the basic tricks or whatever. But if you want to do a no-handed version of it, you hold this while you do it. You want to do a no-handed version of it, you do that. So you would end up with these tricks where you were just completely letting go of the bike. Got it. Uh, and it was always ridiculous because you could spin, and it would just spin even though you weren't touching the bike. It, you would you would spin in unison, and, uh. it, was, and it was hilarious. Um, oh, Dave Mira. But I wonder if that's how this ends up going. If like if there's a, like a, you know, right stick is the legs, bumper. and if there ends up being some other way to let go with your hands or something like that, or if they just kind of automatically let go yeah. depending on how long you hold a trick. Or, that or that was my like impression, that. but it's, yeah. it's hard to say without getting into the later tracks. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, you know, it's uh, they just announced it's coming out in April for twenty bucks. It's okay. on, uh, it's on Steam, Steam, and next-gen consoles. Uh, and awesome. I think it seems pretty awesome if you're down for more trials. I am definitely down for more trials. Cool. Yeah, this you know the trick stuff definitely adds a, a whole. Look at that future bus. Yeah. Layer. Yep, future bus, future white neon highways. Yeah. Future trials. Thanks, guys. Thank you, bro. Thanks, bro.